Hello friends, welcome to day 19 of quarantine series. I am Dr. Prachi from Shri Clinic. Here we are discussing all health related problems, both physical and mental. So, uh, before starting our today's video, I am really glad to tell all of you, to announce all of you that I have started my own YouTube channel uh, named Homeo Heal. Uh, so, of which I will be putting the link in this video. And uh, you can go there, watch all the videos here on uh, YouTube also and on Facebook also. So, the videos which I have put on Facebook uh, are will be put up there also, henceforth. So, that those, those, the people who are not there on Facebook uh, will be able to see on YouTube. And then, another important thing that we are going to do on YouTube is, the people who don't understand English or it's where, where it's difficult to understand English, uh, I will be putting a uh, few videos in Marathi also. So, uh, we have another 2-3 days left for this quarantine series to end. That was 21 days. And uh, we are going to start new series after that. So, please watch the space for more. Okay. So, without wasting any further time, let's start with today's video. Very interesting topic and a very common topic. Hypertension or BP. And it's homeopathic treatment of course. So, when we talk about BP, what comes in our mind first? The thing that everyone says around me at least, all, all of my patients, I have BP. Mala BP hai, mujhe BP hai, mujhe BP ki. Yes, definitely, each and every one of us has BP. I'm not joking. Yes, every one of us has BP. What do you mean by BP basically? It's not a disease. It's blood pressure. So, when you want to say that you have something called as BP, it is more or Less that you want to say that you are having hypertension or hypotension also. Right? So, that is blood pressure and the problems relating to blood pressure will be a problem. Because if we do not have blood pressure in our blood or in our body, I don't think we will be able to exist even a second. The reason behind this is just imagine a pipe, a hose and water. Right? So, when you uh, switch on uh, your tap the force with which the uh, water goes down and uh, the force with which it comes to your regular tap why does it come it comes because of the pressure if I'm not wrong correct so when this pressure is upon the pipes yes they will give you resistance and therefore it will result into pressure and then there will be supply of water to your homes. Similarly, same thing happens in our body. The heart pumps the blood. It goes through arteries, veins, capillaries, supplies to our each and every organ, even my hair. Each and every hair of our body also has blood supplied to it. Correct? So, for this reason... The pressure is very much necessary. The pressure depends upon where your organ is related. That is one thing. Secondly, it is related to with what demand it should go there. So, if the pressure with which uh, your liver is supplied uh, blood, the, the, the pressure won't be same for your muscle legs. Correct? Leg muscles, I'm sorry. So, when... When there is difference in supplying of uh, blood to that particular organ, it depends on the demand of that organ or that part of our body. That's for sure. Now, why? what is hypertension and what is hypotension? Hypertension is when your BP raises or when it increases to a certain level which is not normal. Alright? And hypotension is something where it drops below a stipulated uh, given parameter. Alright, so this is clear. The causes behind having blood pressure or hypertension, most probably people undergo hypertension, which is known as BP. So I have BP, I have BP, mala BP is halay, mala BP surwat zhalay. This is BP, that is hypertension. Remember that. Along with this, what are the causes? Why do we get this problem of hypertension? There are many causes and the most important cause is our everyone's favorite stress which we talked about a few days back. Correct? So, stress, anxiety, fear of so many things 
yes it causes bp it causes hypertension why definitely because your brain needs much more supply during anxiety the blood will go on increasing 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 it will go on supply uh, blood to your brain with very high intensity and then it becomes a habit of taking the fear very personally of taking the stress very personally and therefore resulting into hypertension same happens with another mental causes which is known as shock this shock can be both positive and negative for example if you hear someone's very you know closed ones uh, if you hear death of a closed one yeah which which can come as a shock yes definitely who are bedridden who are old age we are prepared but somewhere some some young uh, boy or young girl of your family or some anywhere you see that and it it goes to your head and mind so much that the pressure just increases and there will be hypertension it can be in positive it can be in good news also which in which uh, for which in marathi there is a word called as harshavayu that is the happiness is so much it is so overwhelming for that particular person that it goes to that extent that the uh, heart is not able to take that much load of happiness yeah that much happy hormones which are released the it's not able to take the load and the demand and the supply just goes on you know just in a spurge so that happens in hypertension so this is major causes of mental causes of hypertension other many causes are first of all if you have a hereditary definitely you are going to have a uh, hypertension then there is another important cause that if you are having a major surgery or you have undergone accident definitely because that time there is blood loss so during recovery what happens is uh, it uh, the blood and the demand is not able to match the supply and the demand is not able to match so therefore there will be uh, you know variations in that particular region and there will be increase of supply of blood to that uh, uh, a particular organ or anything another important cause or uh, reason for which we get hypertension is age so after a certain age uh, each and every organ just goes on you know demolishing so maybe 60 65 the functions goes on slowly gradually it it goes on decreasing and therefore there will be increased demand of blood and if that happens of course the heart is going to as the as other organs are going to uh, age the heart is also going to age so it doesn't know exactly how to pump itself correct so that will lead into hypertension definitely yeah so these are few of the causes um of uh, hypertension symptoms what are the symptoms symptoms are very necessary symptoms like palpitations you know dhad dhad hone or um uh, there is headache then there is trembling of hands then there is chest pain there is back pain there is headache all these are hypertension um symptoms how do we know that we are a hypertensive patient or we are a bp patient so basically just by checking your bp just by checking your blood pressure on the sphygmo manometer of a doctor just checking it once and just prescribing you bp medicines is not um advisable okay the thing is you should be having three consecutive readings which are definitely if today is 12th of april 13th of april and 14th of april on the same time for example now it's 6:30 so on 12th of april at 6:30 13th of april 6:30 and 14th of april 6:30 that means three consecutive days on the same timings if your blood pressure remains in the same reading definitely if it is normal okay you are not hypertensive if it is more yes you are hypertensive so you should be having three correct readings of the same time and same uh, same almost uh, the three consecutive days if it is there definitely you can be labeled as hypertensive not one or two readings all right so that is one thing the normal bp is we usually say 120 by 80 mm of hg so uh, but with age it is okay to have plus or minus 10 so uh, for old age, age old persons uh, age old patients we say that 130 by 90 is a normal blood pressure for them right now how do you manage uh, your blood pressure one is by regular exercising 
second is by having very good diet so you have to include good veggies fruits and intake of salt to be reduced a bit in your food so these are the two major things which we tell otherwise walking for 45 minutes regulates your blood pressure very quickly that we can practice and again my favorite part so homeopathy definitely has good medicines for your hypertensive problems uh, what homeopathy does is it doesn't go and decrease your blood pressure it releases the excessive pressure as we all know the routine it goes inside it finds out the root it what was the problem exactly it it does all that but along with that the pressure which it is you know putting on the arteries and veins and all these things definitely that pressure if it is more and if it is harming you it helps in reducing that so we have those medicines too so uh, homeopathy definitely helps helps for bp so i hope uh, this video has helped you for the hypertension and the bp that we have talked of and uh, thank you for watching the video uh, see you in the next video stay home stay quarantine stay safe and uh, please um, subscribe like and share the youtube channel you can also click the bell icon which is present there so you receive a notification every time i upload a video so thank you so much for watching the video till the end and uh, see you in the tomorrow's video thank you